Time for another yard sale day. It's yard sale week 11. There's a bunch of good yard sales. It's a beautiful day and I'm excited to see what we find. I am really hoping to find some video games. The last couple weekends haven't found anything really noteworthy video game wise. So that's what I'm on the hunt for today. Stay tuned. Look at this guy. Fairfield. All right, so yard sale stop one was pretty cool. We picked up a Garfield piggy bank. He's missing his plug in the bottom, but I have one at home. And then a bunch of Blue's Clues books. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this really cute Walt Disney's Pooh's Schoolhouse uh, golden book from like way back in the day. And two Halloween costumes because we are going to a Halloween pool party today. So it's a dragon and a stormtrooper. And it was all 20 bucks for everything. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Nice That's an old one. Check and see if there's a book you want to read. So much good. I'm pretty psyched to find these. It's a Find Your Fate Transformers book. Super cool. What's it from? 1986, and it's in really good shape. And then Scary Stories for Sleepovers, another 25 cents. Pretty happy about those finds. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. Yeah. Okay. Not good. Yeah. We're getting closer on the card, Fate. We just need Pokemon. We're on the hunt for Pokemon cards. Oh, okay. You got okay. hockey cards. <laughs> yeah. We're getting hockey. closer. Soccer, basketball, baseball. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting closer. <laughs> That's number two. She's got two compliments on it so far. <laughs> she was saying to me, I wonder how many I'm going to get. <laughs> well, you keep track. <laughs> She's on the hunt for old Pokemon cards. Oh. I think I'm going to have to get this mind tester. Yeah, super cool. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Oh, there's some cool shirts. Did you see the box of toys over there, bud? So that last yard sale, we ended up getting, they were sorting these bags up on the stairs and we just asked them what they wanted for everything. And there was two giant bags full of Disney, Littlest Pet Shops. I can't pull this one out. So. And like other, like random, I guess, drill toys you would call it. And uh, we got it all for 10 bucks. So we're gonna have to go through it eventually. But you can see they have the little Littlest pet shop balls. I had to figure out how to open it. All that for 10 bucks. Two bucks? You got it. Morning. How much are you asking on the uh Marie? I asked fifteen. Yep. Does it work? 
It, I believe it does. I thought I used it. I think it needs batteries. It's hilarious. It's cool. You see some books? Lots of books. Right? Ooh, Berenstein Bears. It's 10 bucks for five bucks, babe. Some oldies. What's this old guy doing in here? Wow. Picked up this sweet vintage Hand, uh, handheld television. I can't wait to see if it works. And then at the next yard sale we were at, uh, where I was looking at all the books, picked up a bunch of uh, old school books, including Where the Wild Things Are, and uh, Pooh Sleepy's Time Stories, and Mother Goose Nursery Rhymes, and Hunchback of Notre Dame. So those were all two bucks. And then we spotted a vintage My Little Pony laying there, and we got that for a buck. So some good finds so far. And uh, we picked up five albums from that first yard sale where they had the, uh, the little dogs and the Christmas Santa. They ended up having a pile of records. Got Blondie, Earth, Wind & Fire, Bob Seger, Johnny Cash, and Super Tramp. So it was a good start. Those were a buck each. So we're, on, we're having a good roll right now. Oh, here's some old stuff. So here's that last yard sale, a buck of VHS. We got some old wrestling ones, two Star Wars ones. I love the box art on these. Another wrestling VHS, Planet of the Dinosaurs, just seem really cool, and Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Those were a buck each, she threw in one for free. I'm like reliving my childhood right now. <laughs> This is awesome. I'm gonna have to get it. How much are you asking for it? There's no price on it. Oh. <gasps> oh, look at this guy. It's the green giant. Yeah. Amazing. That's the Pillbury Gold Girl. Yes. So now we're really getting going. We found these Fisher Price and Pop and Pal toys at that last yard sale. This one was two and that one was a dollar. This old Sesame Street baby Bert. He was a buck. And a Jammy Pals, I believe it's called Jammy Pies doll from the 80s. And then the next yard sale we hit, found another Sweet Secrets. It's the Beach House, I believe. That was two bucks. We're on, we're on a tear right now.
Bring it over here. How are you? It's not full, I'm sorry. Oh, it's good. I was thinking of using it for coins. <laughs> How much are you asking on it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, this is an oldie, eh? Yes. It's, it's, you got a little girl. Those are all the foods. Yeah, I got little girls. That's Aussie. awesome. It's got um, the gloves. Ten bucks for everything? Is that what it says? Yep, for everything. I'll take it. Oh, good girl. Done. I'm a good guy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What do you want for it? What do you want? We picked up this little dollhouse. It's got a bunch of like old dolls in it. I do not know what they're from, but it's definitely 90s. And we got it basically for all the uh, little pieces of furniture. And then like, this might be a skateboard for Fisher Price little people. I don't know. So there's like a whole bunch of stuff in it. It was five bucks, so I had to get it. I mean, dollhouse furniture, definitely. I'm on fire with this thing today. We can offer them. All right. Get rid of everything. Sounds good. Yeah, those are all the Walt Disney ones. Oh, yeah, there's some goodies. Puppy dogs. <laughs> oh my lord. The digital one's 50. Yeah. These are really neat. I don't know what these are, but let's get these. Cool, good finds. All right, here's today's yard sale haul. We did pretty good. Not as much as last week, but we got way more quality over quantity. Actually, there's still a bunch of quantity. Let's start over here. In here, it's just 71 101 Dalmatians McDonald's toys. We got those for 40 bucks. Got the Poppin' Pals from the 80s. And a bunch of books. This Ariel Funko, that was a good find. That was like 20 cents or something. And then here, the Stephen King books. I'm a big sucker for those always. A ton more VHS tapes. Some of the best ones, the Digimon movie, the Never Ending Story, scare, the original scary movie. A couple different Simpsons books, which was cool. And then over here, we got the Little Tyke Step 2 refrigerator with a bunch of accessories and it's in such good shape. This whole bag is play food and then more in there. Over there, we got a couple different stitch plushes, a Burt from Sesame Street, and a Garfield ceramic piggy bank, alongside the big bottle from Canadian Club that's empty, but it's got its stand, which is really cool. You don't see that very often. And then looking more, um, got that My Little Pony from the 80s, two Minecraft books. That Lego system is brand new in the box, which is unreal to find 1996 Lego in its original box still. Um, these little guitars are kind of neat. I think they're Guitar Hero. So those are neat. 
Um, how cute is this stitch, by the way? Brand new. And then we got this dollhouse that came with a bunch of little accessories. They're in a bag. Um, it says Endeavor Industries, so I don't know much about this dollhouse, but it was five bucks and it came with a ton of different accessories. So we grabbed it. Over here, this is the Sweet Streets Beach House with almost all the accessories, including the, the people, which is a rare find. This is one of my favorite finds for the day. It's a portable television from the 90s. I'm gonna have to see if it works, but I think I'm gonna need to get a uh, digital antenna to see. Those are Avon bottles. I got the Marlin, uh, the TP, and the Domino. Another brain teaser. Another Fisher Price Activity Center. This one's in way cleaner condition than the last one. And uh, just like it for some ASMR. This was the find of the day right here. Jammy pies. I had no idea these things were so valuable and we got it for a buck. Apparently they're like a hundred dollars on eBay. These are uh, pretty cool too. The Blue Eyes Toon Dragon from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Alongside Pegasus, the Blue Eyes, a couple Digimon, and I believe this is a Dungeons and Dragons figure. If you know what this is, let me know in the comments because I have no idea. I don't think it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I would recognize it and it looks like the sides of it have markings like for a Dungeons and Dragons game. And over there, there's some uh, vintage records. Blondie is probably the best one and Super Tramp. And then a bunch of Blue's Clues books, Where the Wild Things Are. That's one of my personal favorites. Those two Twilight Zone VHSs are really cool too. I haven't seen a Twilight Zone VHS in so long, so I had to grab them. And then we got a giant bag full of toys from a girl for 10 bucks and we went through them and donated some, but this is the highlights of it. A bunch of little dolls, some more Sweet Streets, uh, Loving Family. I do not know where these little baby dolls are from. You have to do some research. Bunch of little dogs, including some vintage LPS. And then here is just some random Kate Copper style figures, including uh, the reindeer from Rudolph, like Rudolph the Red Reindeer. Then here, these little like Bakugan that turn into animals, which were pretty cool. I think they're Littlest Pet Shop because they were with more Littlest Pet Shop. And uh, some strawberry shortcake and a whole bunch of Disney figures. And some really good ones too, like some miniature Disney cake toppers, like, uh, oh my God, that's not Sebastian. I'm losing it. Gus and Jock. And I believe there's an Apu, and also all the dwarfs are in there. Flounder. And then right there, strawberry shortcake. Over here, just a whole bunch of, uh, I think they're magic clip dolls from Polly Pocket. There were so many. They're missing a lot of the clothes, but there's gotta be about a hundred in there. So honestly, for 10 bucks, that bag was well worth it. This is the total haul for the weekend. Let me know in the comments what the best find was. Honestly, I'm partial to the portable color TV and that big step two refrigerator. Hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for next week.